YouTube sold? Yep. Uh, this King James Bible is so archaic and out of date and everything else, but yet it can uh, accurately tell you exactly what's going on, even on social media like YouTube. Let me prove it to you. Psalm 12. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. How many real, true, Bible-believing ministries are on YouTube? Not very many. Verse 2. Speaking about the rest of YouTube. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbor. With flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. Um, how much of that goes on on YouTube? Yeah, quite a bit. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips and the tongue that speaketh proud things. Who have said, with our tongue will we prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us. This is my channel, you know. Yeah, crazy. Verse 5, why are they doing it? Why are most people on YouTube? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. Huh, pretty interesting. Monetize their videos and they basically make merchandise of people. Mm -hmm. Verse 6, the words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Yeah. What's it about? Oh, uh, a book. Mm -hmm. That's why I entitled my ministry King James Video Ministries. The King James Version of God's Holy Word. This is the standard, not me. Verse 8. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. What are the biggest channels on YouTube? Vile in God's sight. And what's it leading to? Oh, the wicked walking on every side. Why? Well, they get away with it, so I can too. Those people there make these horrible blasphemous videos, so I can too. I can find it entertaining. I can think it's funny. Where in the past people would have said that that's repulsive. I mean, the vast majority of stuff on YouTube, lost people 50, 60 years ago would have been vehemently against it. Yeah. It's crazy. Now, there aren't many good ministries left on YouTube. All right. And uh, it is a struggle because I have to, people say, oh, hey, brother, have you checked out this channel? Hey, have you checked out that channel? I don't have time to check out channels in detail. And there have been so many times I've recommended channels that later on turned out to be false. It's been very, very vexing for me. And uh, I'd love to be able to have a whole network. You know, back years ago, we used to have the, the Bible Believers group on um, YouTube here. And I was the head of the King James Bible Believing group. I was the president of it. And, um, and there was a lot of good people in it and things. And a lot of them turned out to be false later on, <laughs> you know. And some, you know, were still around and whatever else. And they're still, you know still, you know, with the Lord and things, uh, walking with the Lord and reading His Word and believing His Word, but a lot of them, they're false, okay? And a lot of them have come in since that whole group there, uh, since that movement. A lot of them have just come in and infiltrated the Bible-believing movement. So now people that use the King James Bible on YouTube, uh, there's a lot of them they are just so wicked and so vile and so evil. You say, well, how do I know which ones are right? Well, you pretty much need to have a standard. And when you see these ministries and they depart from the Word of God and true sound biblical preaching and the new birth, you know, being born again, the changed life that comes from true salvation, um, you can just say, nope, sorry. Uh, help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth. And uh, the wicked walk on every side because the vilest men are exalted. Um, my channel, I've never monetized. And um, it's a miracle to be up just under 30,000 subscribers. And I don't believe for one second that they're all legitimate. Um, there are so many trolls that's, that subscribe to me and whatever else. But you mean to tell me that you can get 100,000 real true Bible-believing Christians to, subscri to subscribe? Or 200,000? Please. <laughs> that's not going to happen. 
um, Bible-believing Christians are just not going to be that popular. It's not going to happen. But uh, when vile men are exalted, you're going to get a lot of wicked people out there. So, and I find it interesting, I'll just say this too, that uh, a lot of times you'll see these channels, these fake channels that are claimed to be Bible-believing, and they're not, and they'll have, you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and you look at the video views, and they're not really getting that many more than me. My videos and their videos are getting just about the same views. Kind of weird, isn't it? How many subscribers do they really have? So, just thought that was an interesting thing there. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. have some uh, updates type of stuff to come out with soon. Um, we've been going through some real spiritual warfare type of stuff. Some, a lot of things happen. A lot of things keeping me very, very busy apart from the ministry type of stuff. So, I'll be updating people better here in the future. Uh, what, what all is going on. Um, I have a employer identification number that I had from way back when I was a wood turner and you don't have to get a new one all you know every time you want to go back into business so to speak but uh, we're working on that right now getting everything back up and going again with uh, a lot of the tax number type of stuff and whatever um, so that we can sell start selling the external hard drive I'm going to be opening up the web store again and um, so I'd appreciate your prayers on that. Um, <clears throat> just to tell you a little story here, um, just to give you one update. A lot of you know about this already, but we had our problem problem with our pellet stove, our wood pellet stove. It died. It had the, the auger motor died on it. And so uh, there was just no option. I had to go out and get another pellet stove. And, um, and we just had all kinds of problems with the, with the new pellet stove. I bought that one. Wait to wait for the parts to come because the parts take about a week to come in and uh, we had all kinds of problems with the other pellet stove and uh, tried everything it was basically the the exhaust pipe my exhaust pipe that I have on the house here was not really compatible with I don't want to get into a whole big thing the vacuum system on the other pellet stove uh, trying to avoid a lot of the technical stuff here but we had a terrible time of it and so we were dealing with a very cold house because it was sub-zero a lot of times and, and things. And thankfully, the Lord warmed it up for us. You know, we had a couple of days of actually get up into the 40s and then at 50 degrees one day. Uh, so, you know, we got through that time and finally get the parts, finally come in for the our main stove. And uh, I opened up the parts and there was three parts that I had to order. One of them was absolutely necessary. The other two, I thought, well, I better replace them while I'm at it because I know that they're having some issues and I better just replace everything. And uh, the one part that I needed, the auger motor, was not in the shipment. So I call up the place and I'm saying, you know, where's the auger motor? Oh, we're very sorry, sir. We didn't, we forgot to send that. I'm very, very sorry. It's kind of weird. Why, you know, I'm thinking, yeah, you know, sure, this is great. So we're still waiting for that. Um, but... Uh, you can probably hear my voice is a little bit scratchy. We um, we all had colds because of the thing of just, you know, the cold temperatures in the, in the house here and trying to keep rooms warm with electric heaters and the, uh, you know. And again, this is, I mean, I, I literally went down. I did a, a real good cleaning, real thorough cleaning of our stove. And part of that, you know, um, I, I didn't knock any wires loose or anything because I always check all that, make sure everything's all connected and everything's clean and good. And uh, I was going to do that. I'm going to go down to the property. I had my notes ready. I had everything ready. Going to go down to the property. Going to get a study done. You know, um, going to do some preaching outdoors or whatever in the snow. And, you know, all planned out. And boom, the stove dies. And then I'm spending all day, instead of working in the ministry, I'm spending all day going here and there, trying to find parts locally, trying to find this and that. And <laughs> And it's been, you know, weeks now. And so still waiting on the auger motor. But thankfully, the Lord is, is, uh, did a miraculous thing. Um, one of our local tractor supply stores, they sell the st pellet stove, the model that we have that we like. And, um, and so I was thinking about ordering one. And I thought, no, it's going to take too long and whatever. 
Well, here we went in the other day, and here's the exact stove that we have sitting there. Um, it needed work. And I said to the guy, you know, what's wrong with it? He said, well, we can't, you know, we tried to start. It won't start. We don't know what's going on. It was half price. And I mean, the thing was basically brand new, but just didn't work. And had some scuff marks on it and whatever else. So uh, we bought it and brought it home. All it was was a switch, the little dial that you turn on and off. And uh, so I was able to replace, take the part off the old stove, put it on. We have heat again as of yesterday. Um, we have heat now. Uh, and so, what a blessing. Now, I guess it was actually two days. It was the evening of the, the night that we had gotten the stove. So, um, really a blessing. But, you know, a lot of this stuff, I just, I'm mentioning this because a lot of this you don't see. And so you'll see, oh, Brother Brian was going to come out with a video and he was going to come out with this and he was going to say, he said he was going to do this. There's a lot of stuff that we deal with, okay? Spiritual warfare type of stuff that you just, it just, Right in the middle of, I'm going to do this work, boom, something happens like that. I mean, the stove isn't even that old. Our main pellet stove, the older one, um, it's not even that old. So it's just, just odd things. Um, you know, the Bible talks about, you know, Paul says about Satan hindering us and things in our work. Yeah, we've experienced that so many times. There's been times we have had plans made to record a video or to go tracting or whatever, and it just something comes in and just totally derails our plans and we're doing something that we never thought we'd be doing that day. Uh, going here, going there, having to go get this replaced or that repaired. or So, um, just wanted to tell that little story there. And uh, so if you could please keep us in your prayers, we would greatly appreciate that. Um, and... Uh, we're you know going through a lot of transition type of stuff right now. Um, the uh, the thing of the new ministry office. Um, there's a place which we're praying about. We've we've known about it for a while, and um, it's an older place, going to need some work, and whatever. But it would be really really uh, an excellent thing. Um, it would be very close to our property, and uh, I think it would work out wonderfully for the ministry. Uh, it's an old place. It's been abandoned for, I think, 15 years now, and um, and you know it's got some issues, but it's you know we could get it, and it would be definitely big enough that we could organize everything. Finally, um, that's been a real a real hard thing for me not to have my books access to my books. They're all in storage now, and um, again, you know, one of the things I was going to do was I was going to do a um, review of the real big. 1611, the real huge big Bible um, that ironically I got about a year ago. A brother sent it to me and I was going to do a review of it and I wanted to do a review outdoors uh, in the snow. Not while it's snowing, but you know, all the snow around me and whatever else. And that was part of the plan and the plans were totally derailed and I just, I can't do it. And so I'm going to be doing a lot of that type of stuff, but um, really, really appreciate everybody that has gone over to the GoFundMe page and donated towards the project for a new ministry office. Um, it's a, such an important thing. Uh, again, you know, people, let me just, I got to explain a few things here. I've been wanting to get this stuff off my chest and just explain it. Um, it isn't some kind of a thing of we come up with harebrained schemes and, and we try things and we're constantly failing. The Lord directs, the Lord leads. And we never thought we were going to be living in this place here for all these years and I've tried I mean I I tried so hard to get places built and whatever and just hindering here and hindering there and whatever and I can look back now and I can look at that and I can say okay why would God allow that to happen why not just send us to where you know our land is now and give us all that at, you know right away well first of all because the property wouldn't have been in for sale back when you came here to Maine um, secondly because the Lord brought us here for a reason you know, we've we've had um, a lot of you know confrontations with people. We've met people, and that would have never happened had we not been right here. Um, so uh, the Lord is is leading. He's directing. Um, but you know, it's just it's gotten to the point where we're just saying, okay, you know, we would be so much more efficient if we finally have a place that's nearer to where our land is. Um, so we're not doing this running back and forth all the time. And we need 
the space to be able to really expand and have separate ministry and living quarters, uh, which we don't have right now, uh, where we can have, you know, printing areas set up and areas for shipping and areas for, you know, video editing and areas for recording video and research areas and uh, drafting tables and whatever else um, to draw out things and whatever. Um, my wife is very much getting into that. So uh, there's, there's so much stuff that we need uh, to be able to expand into. And we're trying our best right now to get into some of that right now. Again, we're getting our tax number. We're getting ready to start doing the external hard drives. It's going to be a big initial investment to be able to buy a bunch of these external hard drives. Um, let me just show that real quickly. Uh, here's the what we're using. It's a what is it? A two terabyte? Yeah, two terabyte to be able to fit all of my videos on that I've done over the last 10 years. Um, and, you know, I'm pretty much going to, I think I'm pro probably probably going to be ending with 2018. It's going to be the final videos that are on here, but I'm not sure. Um, I might go a little bit longer uh, because I'm not sure how long it's going to take us to get everything ready where I can start to produce these things. Not sure yet. Um, but, you know, that thing, the receipt here, yeah, they don't have the price that I paid, but I think it was right around $65 to $70 for this thing. If any of you out there know of a place where I could get a bunch of these, kind of a wholesale type of deal or something, I don't know if they would do that. But, you know, um, like I said, I think we paid about $69, I forget what it was, between $65 and $70 for this with free shipping, okay, on eBay. All right, if anybody knows where I could get a bunch of these cheaper, um, please put it down in the comments down there. That would really be helpful to us. Um, again, that's going to affect the price of what I'm able to offer these things for. Uh, you know, let me know. Um, we're still trying to work out what price we're going to charge for these. Uh, you know, I'm not sure yet. So that is coming up. And... Um, we would really, really appreciate your prayers because, I mean, like I said, there's there's times we have it planned. We got everything ready to go and just some weird thing happens in our lives and it just totally ruins and just wrecks our plans. Um, so many times we've we've had it just, we're ready to do something for the Lord, really ready to do some kind of work for the Lord and it just gets derailed. So um, I guess that's going to be it. Please do keep us in your prayers. And again, thank you to everybody that's going over to the GoFundMe thing. Thank you to those that, you know, there's even people that, that uh, donate through PayPal and they say, hey, GoFundMe takes a lot more than PayPal does or, or even send a check and things. And, and you're donating that way. So thank you as well for that. Um, and I don't want to leave anybody out on that. So um, <clears throat> that is going to be it. And I will definitely keep everybody posted as to what's going on with um, the web store coming back, that's going to be the first project, making all the videos available, and a bunch that never made it to YouTube, and those that were kicked off of YouTube as well, they're going to be on that external hard drive. Uh, so it's going to be very, very interesting what all the Lord helps us to bring out, some really good stuff on that external hard drive. Um, so I think that's going to be it. So uh, please do keep us in your prayers. And we will see you in the next video.